in this video, we're gonna be talking about perspective, so make sure that you stay tuned. What is up, everybody? This is Chris from The Rewired Soul, where we talk about the problem, but focus on the solution. And today's topic is perspective. So in this video, we're gonna be talking about some super important stuff, and it's all about perspective. So please make sure that you share this on social media, because I guarantee you, some people you know have the glasses half empty type mentality, and they need to see this too. Perspective is one of the most fascinating things to me. It blows my mind. Like, it's really intriguing to me how you can have two people in an in an identical situation and both people are having two completely separate experiences, right? What really drew me towards this topic is I'm somebody who has switched from one perspective to the other. Like, it's very hard to realize this, but over five years ago, before I was working on my mental health, when my brain was just a hot mess, I was, I was the epitome of glasses half empty. I was the type of guy who can literally look at any situation and talk about how bad it is or how bad it's going to become. All that stuff, like it ended up hurting a lot of the relationships I had. Like people didn't wanna hang out with me because I was such a bummer to be around. You know what I mean? And now like, Something that really blew my mind was uh, my girlfriend and I, we've been dating for over a year and I'll never forget when we first started dating, she was like, man, you are a really optimistic person. And I'm like, what? Like that is literally a sentence I thought that nobody would ever say to me. You know what I mean? And there's some things that I've done to kind of switch that perspective that's helped my mood, helped my mental health and all sorts of stuff. And I'm gonna share some of that with you. So first let's get started and let's talk about perspective and give some examples of how they differ and what might be going on, all right? So the first thing I wanna do, I wanna talk about this story that I heard in the book, uh, The Happiness Advantage by Sean Aker. Amazing book, check out my reading list, it'll be in the description below. But anyways, there's a story in there and it's about two shoe salesmen. Two shoe salesmen, okay? They are sent over to Africa by their boss, like, yo, you two need to go over to Africa, I need you to go sell some shoes, right? So they both go there and they land in this village, right? And salesman number one, he gets back to the boss and he's like, yo, this is terrible. This is the worst thing. I don't know why you sent me here. Nobody wears shoes. Nobody is going to buy shoes, okay? The second salesman gets back to his boss and says, boss, we have hit a gold mine here. People need shoes so bad. Right, like isn't that crazy? Isn't that crazy to see that there's two different people in the same situation, but the completely different perspectives, right? So this is something that's just so interesting. So I work at a drug and alcohol treatment center, for those of you who don't know, and I often bring up this topic of perspective to my clients. Like, if any of you out there are in recovery from addiction or in addiction or know people in addiction, like you'll know what I'm talking about when I say this, but I bring up to my clients, I'm like, isn't it amazing or isn't it interesting how there's a whole group of you right here and there is a select amount of you in this room right now who thinks that this is the worst, just most terrible rehab on the planet, these people don't care about you, they're just trying to take your money, they're just the worst, right? But then, there is another group of you in this exact same room, going through the exact same program, who are thinking, man, this place has saved my life. Like, isn't that interesting? Isn't that really interesting, right? So one of the reasons I actually made this video is because a lot of you new subscribers here uh, saw the video I made about Nicole Arbor. And the reason I wanted to do this topic is because I get comments like this all the time too. And I'm like, this is really interesting stuff, all right? So let's take a look at comment number one. This is from Lexi. She says, you genuinely couldn't have said it better and definitely earned a subscriber. Thank you, Lexi. The world needs more level-headed, dig deeper, and find the solution kind of people like you. And I like that you didn't just straight up say how horrible she is or anything. You gave credit for what she was trying to say, but understood the way she was presenting it was futile, to say the least. Anyway, well said. Now here is comment number two on the exact same video. Clearly, you didn't watch the video if you think she was shaming people with depression, or you lacked the capacity to understand what you actually said. But you're all full of insults to hurl at her, aren't you? 
says more about you than her. So isn't that fascinating? Isn't that fascinating that the first person, Lexi, she can look at that and say like, wow, you really presented this well and you didn't go after her, you didn't attack her, right? And it's something that I often try to do. Like, this isn't a drama channel. This isn't to start crap with anybody. Like, I do my best to put myself in those shoes and try to see the, the actual message that the person's giving us, right? But then you have the second person who found my video insulting, right? And I didn't put the whole chain of comments because me and him kind of uh, discussed it a little bit, but he said that I was insulting her, I was shaming her, and all these other things. I'm like, man, that really is interesting. What's that about? You know what I mean? So, as we do here all the time at The Rewired Soul, we talk about the problem, but focus on the solution. So yeah, I get it. People have different perspective, what's the deal? Well, the first thing I will say, if you haven't yet, make sure you subscribe because I'm gonna do a detailed video on the neuroscience behind complaining and how it actually creates a negative bias, okay? But it's obvious by going over these examples that people have different mental filters, okay? When, when different kind of stimuli are coming in, they're processed differently, that's obvious, it's like, there's these different lenses on the same pair of glasses, you know what I mean? Where some people see the good and some people see the bad, right? So one of the things that you can do, something that you can do today, right now, to start changing your own mental filter is to start keeping a gratitude list, okay? This is literally the easiest, the easiest thing that you can do. I get a lot of people who are like, oh my God, Chris is gonna give me instructions on how to improve my mental health. I am one of the laziest people that you'll ever meet, so I try to give you the laziest solutions that you can. All of us have one of these things. There are different notes, there are different apps, there are so many different things you can do. Write down five things every single day that you are grateful for. There have been numerous studies that show people who keep gratitude lists, even if it's five to 10 things a day, greatly see improvements in their outlook on life. So what do you have to lose? What do you have to lose by simply writing down five things a day? As you begin to do this, you will start to see that your mental filter begins to change because what happens is, is that you are setting up a habit in your mind. So for example, when you get stuck in traffic and you're like, oh my God, everybody's, ugh, right? You begin to start thinking like, man, I'm stuck in traffic, but at least I got some good music to listen to. Or man, I'm stuck in traffic, but man, at least I got a car to be stuck in traffic in. You know what I mean? You will start to see these changes just happening automatically, but you have to set up the habit first, okay? All right, so do me a favor, do me a favor. Down in the comments below, let me know if you think that you're more glasses half full or glasses half empty type mentality, okay? And as I mentioned, please do me a favor, share this video, share this with other people so they can start getting out of that glasses half empty type mentality, okay? But anyways, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're new here, I'm always making videos like this to help you out with your mental health. Make sure you click that little round subscribe button. And if you're bored, you got some time, click or tap on one of those thumbnails right there, check out some other videos, all right? Thanks so much for watching. Stay grateful today, and I'll see you next time.